How about a fun example of center of mass? So suppose I have this right triangle like this, and there's see, it's, you know it's a right triangle because put that little symbol there, so it has to be right. It's, it's legally required to be center to right. Center of right. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so suppose it's like a, um, a sh piece of sheet metal that's cut out, and the question is where is the center of mass? So the first question is what's center mass? So here's the definition of center mass. If, if I broke this or any object, let's say it's right here, into a bunch of little pieces, and I find the vector location of that piece, i, I break it into i, a total of pieces, each piece is labeled by i, and that has a position ri vector. And I take the position, and I multiply it by the mass of that piece, and then I add up all the pieces times their mass, that's what this is up here. This is a product, this is a weighted average essentially. So I take the mass times its vector position and I multiply them and then I add all those up and then I divide by the total mass. That's the center mass. Now if I have uh, an infinite number of tiny pieces then it becomes an integral. So how do we do that here? I could take this and break this into little pieces and add them all up x and y and find the x and y location but I'm just going to do the y center mass first. And to do that I can make a trick. Suppose I break this into a rectangle piece like that. And this rectangle piece has a height of dy because it's in the y direction and it has a length of l. Oh, so I should say that the, uh, the piece, the total piece has a mass m, big M. And so the and I'm going to need the uh, linear, the area density, the mass area density. So I'll say the area density, sigma, is the total mass divided by the area. So what's the area of this right triangle that has dimensions s by h? Well, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, so this is going to be 1 half s times h. So this is going to be 2m over sh. And that's my area density. So if I know the area density and I know the area of this piece, I can find the mass of that piece. And then I can I know where the uh, center of mass of this one little rectangle piece is. It's right in the center, which is at some value y. So I can, as I add up all these pieces, then I can get the center of mass. Now, the location of the center of mass is easy. But the mass is not, because look, if I'm up here, I can find the location, but it's a, it's a shorter piece, it's going to have a smaller mass. So let's find the area of each of these pieces. Let me just write this down. Okay, so I'm going to say, what's the, uh, what's the mass of that piece? I'll call it dm. dm is going to be equal to the uh, area density times the area, which is going to be length times dy. So that's the mass of one single little piece, and and it's a differential mass because as the derivative as the p size goes to zero, I'm going to get an infinite number of these, which is good for my integration. So then I can let's just go ahead and put that in my y center mass. It's going to be the integral from y equals zero to y equals h of dm dm times y squared all of that over total m. So that's exactly what I have right up here, except this is in scalar form because it's in one dimension. And, and I have a DM that got destroyed because it wasn't paying attention. I had a text message and I was looking at that. So there's my integral. So I need to get DM. I can put that down here and let's just go ahead and do that. So I get the integral of DM, which is going to be sigma L dy over m. Now that's good because now I'm getting an integral from y equals 0 to y. My integration variable is dy too, so that's good. Uh, L also depends on y. So I need to get this in terms of y. Suppose this is a function, a line. This would be the line y equals the slope, which is h over s times x. That's the equation of that line. So this value I'll call uh, x and this value I'll call s. So l is going to be s minus x. 
but I don't want to put s minus x here because I have I'm integrating over y. So I want to get this in terms of y. So if I solve this for y for x, I get x equals s over h y. So that means l equals s minus s over h y. And let's just check, right? Because if I go all the way up to the top here at y equals h, the length of the piece should be zero. So if y equals h, I get s minus h s, which is zero. And on the same thing down here at the bottom, if y equals zero, I should get a length of s, check. Okay, so now I can put this in over here. So I get y center of mass equals the integral from uh, zero to h of sigma, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in sigma, 2m over sh, l, s minus s over h, y, square, <laughs> okay, I missed, I put, I put in dm, but I forgot the y squared. There's the y squared, okay. That was my fault, sorry y squared. See, but you notice I, I saw the problem, and so I was able to correct it, and then I had the dy too. Okay, so here I have the sigma, sigma. Here I have l, m, dy, y squared. So I got everything there. And the nice thing is the mass cancels. So if I had a, a thick piece of sheet metal, the center mass should be the same as for a thin piece of sheet metal, as long as the density is constant, and so so I have that. So now I have uh, S, H, S, H. I have, the only thing in here that changes is Y and DY, so I can integrate. Okay, so let's, let's move to another sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this. Uh, y center mass equals the integral from zero to H. Um, I'm gonna factor out an S, so I get two S times one minus y over h times y squared dy all over sh. And so, I can get rid of that now. So the s's cancel right there. And I can factor out the two over h, so I get two over h, and I'm gonna multiply this out. So I get y squared minus y cubed over h dy. So now I have a, uh, I can integrate this and I can integrate that. And this is just a power rule, so it's not too hard. So let's say y center mass equals two over h. So what's the integral of y squared? Well, I have to raise this to the power of three and then divide by three. So I get one third y cubed minus one fourth y to the fourth over h from zero to h, right? Okay, so I get two over h. Now I'm gonna get uh, one third h cubed minus uh, one fourth h to the fourth over four. Then I'm gonna subtract off y to the, the we put in zero for y and zero there, so those are both zeros, so that's good. Um, so right away, I'm gonna get some H's canceling here. So let's factor out uh, an H cubed, and, and that's gonna cancel down here. So I get two over, let's see, the H cubed over H, so this is gonna be H squared, times one third minus, wait, H to the fourth H cubed See, y cubed over h, h to the fourth, this is an h, that's why, see, I'm just a sloppy person, okay? So then I have h over h, which is one, so minus one fourth. But I'm getting h squared. I should just have h, let's see, wait. Okay, so I factored out h squared, h cubed, and that's got h and that was h over h. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something because it should be, it shouldn't be h. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so now I get one third minus one fourth is gonna be equal to two h squared times four twelfths 
minus 3 twelfths equals, and then I can factor that out, and I get 2 over 12, or 1 sixth h squared. And see, so that's wrong, because it couldn't be h squared. So where did I make a mistake? Maybe I made a mistake on purpose as an instructive lesson. Okay, so uh, no, that's what I did wrong. It's not y squared. It's not y squared. This, do you see a y squared up here? Do you see y squared up there? No, I don't. I was thinking of the moment of inertia. I don't know why. So this is just y. Let's let's put this in in red because x, x, x. X, that's wrong. That's all that's wrong. You're wrong, wrong. Okay. So, let's just redo this integral. Y center mass equals, uh, I get, oh, let me multiply that out. So I get two over H, the integral from zero to H of uh, Y minus Y squared over H dy. Now I can integrate and I get two over h. Now I'm gonna integrate y, it's gonna be y squared over two minus y cubed over three h from zero to h. And again, the bottom ones are gonna be zero, so that's cool, cool, cool. And I get uh, two over h times h cubed over two minus h h squared. My goodness, with the math errors, h cubed over 3h, and that's going to be equal to uh, 2 over h, and I'm going to get, there's an h squared that factors out, and then I get 1 half minus 1 third. So I get the y center of mass is going to be equal to 2h, because h squared over h cancels h, and then I get 1 half minus uh, 1 third is going to be equal to 3 6 minus 2 6, so 1 6. So I get h over 3. Boom. Wow, that was really not good. I mean, I really made a lot of mistakes. Um, but cool, you know, you, you don't not make mistakes the first time you do things. And I actually have done this one before. But it's okay to make a mistake. You know, you, how, how do you know that you make a mistake? See, because when I get down here and I got h squared, how do I know that's wrong? Well, I'm finding the center of mass. It's a distance. And h is a distance. h squared is not a distance. So that's how I knew I made a mistake. And then I went back and found out where that mistake came from. Okay, but uh, the center of mass did not, where was my S? I had an S in there somewhere. The S is canceled? I guess so. Okay, I, I question that, but, uh, so if that's true, I can go back and do the exact same thing for the X coordinate. If I do the exact same thing, the only thing different is I'm gonna break it up this way. And I'm gonna add up this way, but it's still a right triangle, the only difference is now I could be considerate doing it this way. So this distance would be uh, S over three, right? Because that's like my origin. So this distance is gonna be two S over three. So my Y coordinate, my X coordinate, X center mass would be uh, S two S over three. And uh, again, I question that because I didn't really do it, but I'm gonna end there. If I'm wrong, maybe I'll never post this video. I'll probably post it anyway because it's already 14 minutes long and that'd just be wasting film, right? Okay, so I think this is right. If it's wrong, I'll at least leave a comment. There you go.